Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Lady Calamere, and I will be doing my 67th video. Today's video is on Galaxite. Here is the star of the show having his late night dinner. And there's my other little the star of the show. Oh, she went away. She went away. She's mad. She wants to be the star. Lady Boss. Come on. Anyways, Galaxyite. I know that's how I said Galaxyite and not Galaxyte. Okay, because sometimes this stone is spelled two different ways and it gets confusing. It's spelled as it should be G A L A X Y I T E. Some people say it's Galaxyte as well. Uh, those are two different stones and they're spelled. One is spelled with a Y in it, and one is not, and there's a reason for that, unfortunately. So, Galaxite, Galaxyite, which means Galaxy Stone, it is a Labradorite in Feldspar. It's Micro Labradorite in Feldspar. It is not to be confused with Numite, which is a total different stone totally different oh as you can see maybe you can see the little sparkles that look like these are all i only have polished pieces and then this is labradorite this is what labradorite looks like and this was lovingly broken by one of my cats so this is polished piece i only have polished pieces and this is like one of my favorite pieces it's almost like it's like round. I love this piece. And I love this piece. So. They are kind of rare. I mean, they're not rare, rare, super rare. But they are hard to come by. And they are going up in price. So you want to start snagging them. So like, you, you're not going to find them at. A run of the mill occult store. You might have to go to a specialty crystal store just to get one of these. So, Galaxy I, the reason why it has the Y is because it was in 1995, it was first described by a miner from, from Canada, from Quebec, Canada, as Galaxite. And that's why he called it G A L A. X I T E. However, there is a mineral that exists called galaxite in a different form and is recognized by the mineralogical community. So the miner put a Y at the end of it since he found it to keep with his intentions because when he found it, it looked like little stars in the, in the night sky, like the galaxy. So that's what he wanted to call it. So therefore, he got to name it. So that's why astrological uh, powers that it works with is Scorpio, Leo, as well as Gemini. It vibrates to the number five. It's got a, a hardness around seven to seven and a half. So it's pretty good. pretty hard so like I said it's a micro labradorite and feldspar and it really does connect you with otherworldly powers and it can help you connect with interdimensional beings with um beings on different realms or like different dimensions spiritual beings highly spiritual beings your guardians it can connect you with spirits on a higher frequency than us really you got food on your tail ooh don't look at me Lady Boss, come here. Oh, she's mad. She wouldn't be mad at me. She doesn't have to want anything to do with me tonight now. 
So gal Galaxy Eye is also called an aura stone as well as a stone of charisma because that's what it gives. And it not only protects the aura, but it also stops energy leakage. It prevents that. And it's good when you have to deal, deal with any vampiric people, like spiritual vampire, psychic vampiric, or dealing with a vampiric energy that's sapping your energy, making you constantly tired. So if you're ever at this home or place or area where you feel tired, you just feel like you just want to sleep and you're having nightmares too, it's going to help protect you. It's good to protect you from uh, those things and it's good for dreaming where it can help prevent nightmares or help you deal with the nightmares and realize it's just a dream. So also something else, if you're having nightmares, if you can and you're aware of it, I want you to look at your palm and turn it around. Once you turn your palm around, you will wake up. You'll see a certain light and you will wake up. I learned that when I was taking a course in psychology is to my, the professor there told you to just look at your palm of your hands and you will wake up. So getting back to galaxy eye, This mineral has been used for certain uh, problems such as uh, certain brain issues, issues with the brain, is issues with that. And of course, anything I say medically, if you need to, please go to a psychologist if you need or or your primary care physician or go to you know take your medicine as prescribed or as directed uh, continue to take your over-the-counter medicine if you're taking it otherwise feel free to use this advice with conventional care so it's good for uh, certain brain issues it's good for to help with digestion and also if you're dealing with breathing problems or issues with asthma, this stone can be of use for you. So this stone is wonderful for greeting, for uh, getting rid of like uh, rebounding things for uh, return to sender spells it's good for transmuting unwanted energy it's good for pol polarity balancing so and it's good for uh brain freak it's good for stabilization of the frequency of brainwave transmissions so it's a stone, stone of self-discovery, and it's not a good stone for that. It's to work with fuchsite, which I remembered to. So I'll put up some samples of fuchsite. So we got fuchsite here. Works wonderful with fuchsite for especially... This stone by itself is good for self-discovery, but it's great to work with this. And you can see the energy. I don't know if you can tell them any energy fluctuations. But it's good for introspection, going deep within oneself, and looking inward, of course, and just meditating. It's really good for that. I mean, by itself, it's great for calming the nerves, for anxiety, and also for meditating, it's good to, it allows you to be grounded while it allows your head to go up into the, into the sky and to really travel far with your mind, with your thoughts. 
It's good for astral travel and beyond. It's good for uh, having your head in outer space while feeling while being grounded. So it is a good grounding stone, but it, it, it's a high energy stone. It really is. So like I said, it's a stone for discovery. Now, it's also good for uh, the, your conscious to, to, to really connect, to really concentrate with your conscious mind and inventiveness and to actually get things moving, to get things flowing, to get things out of a state of things that are static. So, we all know what happens with static water, right? It becomes filthy. So, it really gets things moving. So, this holds a very powerful energy. And it's... Absolute, it's absolutely hypnotizing. It really is. For some reason, my picture is whitewashed. I don't know why. Oh, there we go. So, sorry about that. Maybe I shouldn't touch it anymore. Oh, I can't resist. So it is a transformation stone. It's a great transformation stone and will assist you with your mystical and magical transformation. It's going to facilitate your intuitive growth and it's good to really open intuition and also psychic powers. It will also help you with coming up with new ideas to really focus on what you want and also to really help you with visualization. So if visualization is a problem with you, this is a good stone to have on hand. So it's great stone that will enhance your conscious and your subconscious mind. It will allow you to work with your Guard, like I said before, your spirit guides, your guardians, your guardian deities, your guardian demons, your guardian angels, your HGA, the whole, as Crowley called it, the holy guardian angel. And like I said, beings from other planes and dimensions. The really uh, good one for mediumship and to contact you, but it's also protective too. It's also going to reflect negativity. And it really does have that, it looks like the night star, sky. And the goddess it will definitely connect you with is Nuit. Also is Crowley called Nuit. Nuit. And also Isis Sothis. Or the goddess Sothis herself. So it's a good one. If you're studying astronomy as well as astrology. So that's good too. And if you're uh, so if you're really into that, it will help you with that. So this stone will help you gain confidence in yourself and in what you're doing and help you to dance to the beat of your own drum and be your own drummer. It will help you to create the moments that will make you feel more alive. To make It's good for stress-related conditions and anxiety and panic disorders, so it's good for that. And again, if you if you need to, please see a psychiatrist or take medicines for that. But it is good for anxiety and panic disorders. And it's also good for, like I said, digestion and metabolic, Ill, 
met metabolic illnesses, sorry. So also this has been known, this has been used, people have said they had, uh, it gave them comfort when they had uh, cramps from menstruations and right before the PMS. So it helps them with their lethargy, the pain, the bloating, the headaches, the bitchiness, the irritability that comes with it. I used to get them really bad. Oh, God. But I'm a crone now, so. It's wonderful for the business setting or the workplace that can make it more harmonious and will infuse you with more productivity, motivation, and create a better atmosphere for you. I wonder where Lady Bost is. Lady Bost, shadow left. Oh, she's mad at me. She kept on like coming around looking to see if she's there. She's somewhere sulking. I'm sorry, guys. I hope she does come. And let me take down his food bowl. What a spoiled cat. So this will help you bring in good energies, favorable energies for what you want to do. So it will also connect you with night deities. Deities that work with nocturnal like Egati and Lilith. So it's good for that. It's good to, you know, for the nocturnal powers. It's a good stone to use for, like, if you look at it, it's a great divination stone. It's also good for, like, using with uh, tarot reading, oracle cards, pendulums. If you could find one as a pendulum, that would be great. Or just hold it in your hand when you're doing pendulum work. It would be good with uh, uh, other sources like the Ouija board. I, I As far as using it for an elixir, I would use the indirect method because I'm not sure about uh, it of how safe it would be for a direct elixir to drink it. I don't think it would be because of some of the chemical compounds in it, which it it does have like a... I know it has uh, what's that called? calcium. It does have sodium, silicon, sil silicone. Sorry, not silicon. Silicone. It does have aluminum in it. It does have potassium in it. It does have barium in it. So, it it you know, just so that you know that that stuff is in it. It does have a a molecules of oxygen in it too so and it has a, another chemical compound i'm just trying to think of it it's nh i think it's nh4 in it or is it nh4 or nh5 i think it's nh4 i believe it's nh4 isn't it so you just want to be careful with it So this mineral can teach, can help you with love relationships and it can help you to look in the same direction, to go, to look in the same, uh, to be of a better mindset with each other. And it, it does bring in positive energies into the collective consciousness between two people. Really? Sir Mio Mio, I know that's you. So it can really help you to focus as a couple instead of constantly competing with each other and I'm better than you and you know, it can really help you with that.
I do know it vibrates to number five. Other things about how oh, long I've been. I've been talking about 20 minutes already. Wow. Feels like I've only been talking about five minutes, huh? So, this is a good stone for uh, luck, for fortune, and prosperous, abundant energy. So, if you're doing like lucky spells or it may, you know, for good luck, good fortune, this and prosperity, this is a good stone for you. It's a good stone stone to help you deal with like i said anxiety but also fears and words which deals with that too and will help you to remove things that are causing you from making positive changes in your life and it's it's good to help you try something new to become more brave with different things to help you when things are or feeling muddled or confusing or you just don't feel like you're in the right space this is a good one for that so it's good also good for transforming of uh, friendships and relationship into something positive other things that it can bring you joy and happiness and pride within yourself it's good to temper uh, the negative side of your self or the negative per your negative personalities to help you, you know, what's it called again? A Debbie Downer. So if you feel like you're a Debbie Downer, this will help you. So it's good to help you with uh, meditations and rituals to help get rid of anger, unnecessary anger, to help you with hurt, to help you dealing with guilt and sadness and shame, to let this go and to help you to, if you're feeling antisocial or you just feel like you're having these uh, feeling bad about yourself or you're going through a, a bad rut or if you're having antisocial tendencies this is a good stone for you because this stone will also help you expand your social circles and to really put yourself out there so it's a good guidance stone it's a really good guide And it will give you confidence to allow yourself, like I said, to speak your truth, to speak yourself, and to allow yourself to be heard. So if you know things about Labradorite, it, it has some of those uh, properties of it. So this is a good stone for magic and the occult and to increase your energy and power, but also like on a witchy side. And it really does have a powerful vibration to it. It really does. And it's, it, it's also good for healers who are especially doing spiritual healing and healing of the person's chakras or auras to get things flowing. Especially if the person you're healing has blocks or energy leakage or holes in the aura or weaknesses or or like if the aura is like say murky or dark or dull or just very like kind of col how can I say collapse or in some places sharps like sharp like 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 little blades on it like you can 
round that off and heal it. And it does, you can put a protective shield around someone to allow good energies to get in, but protect someone from, it's sort of like a, a, a oh, what am I going to say? Like using a strain or like where it's going to allow certain things to get through and, and other things not to get through. So, it's good for healers that way. And it's also uh, wonderful for spiritual development and attuning yourself or the person's self to their soul's purpose or high, or even higher purposes. So, if you're, if your uh, immune system is feeling down and overworked and you have a cold, this is good. It's also good for using for spells, dealing with the eyes and healing of the eyes. Also good to help heal someone or help deal someone deal with, to you know, do spells for someone with rheumatism. So please deal with me. I don't write down notes. I don't use a script. This is coming all from memory and from my uses with this stone. Lady Bost, little boo, I need my star. Where's my star? Little boo, come on. Mama needs her star. Ah, she doesn't want to come. She's mad at me, whatever. If I remember, I'll take the camera to her and let her say hello to everybody. And everyone can say hello to her when I upload this to my YouTube channel. So, this is becoming more and more popular. And the uh, cult communities which is good because this is actually a good stone but uh when i when i first bought it it wasn't as expensive but now it's getting uh, up in price so you may want to try to find it so the chakras it's going to work with it's really going to work with the third eye chakra. It's wonderful for the Agnya chakra. It's also good for the uh, Soma chakra, which is right above the third eye. And it's also good for, believe it or not, the Sahasrara chakra, your crown chakra. But it also works with the Anahata chakra, which is your heart chakra, which is... So it's good for that. I almost forgot to mention that. So its element is spirit and even air. Other people have tribute this stone to the planet Jupiter. It's good for now easing discord. Also, it's good for easing discord. So, if you're having a chaos that's uncontrolled, this is good. But I, I, I think I, as for me, as far as Jupiter, I think it's beyond that. And honestly, when I think of air, I, I think more of celestial. I, I, I'd i really go for, I'll tell you what I believe, okay? It's celestial. It's very celestial. That's the energy it works with. And 
it it's very it has a very airy quality to it it's somewhat air but also has a like it's weird because it's got a deep earth element to it but also very celestial if that makes any sense to you So this is good for now also also is good for spiritual cleansings. This is wonderful for using it with it. So you can use this to really just get like I said, it stops it stops uh stagnant but also cleanses. So Okay phase of the moon that I would use this for. If I was to use this for the moon, because I'm just thinking of this if, if I was getting questions. I'm just in my mind, I'm pretending I'm getting questions. Okay, for the phase of the moon, I would definitely use this for the dark moon. I would, great time to use this is definitely at midnight and beyond until sunrise. It's good for, works well with Labradorite too. Any, you know, there's also a thing called a yellow lab, like a yellowish clear Labradorite. But this is what people are used to like Labradorite like this. And it works good with that. It also works good with Numite. Works well with uh, Master Shamanite, which I just did a presentation on that. So refer to that. So uh, another thing is protection spells. Very important to learn protection. Once you enter magic, I, I always suggest that you learn how to protect yourself. As when you're starting to work with energies, you light up in the astral. And there will be spirits that will be attracted to you. And you want to protect yourself. Also, there will always be the uh, negative Nancy. You're always going to have that, oh God, Karen after you. Or you're going to have someone who's jealous in the magical field that may be against you. So you want to learn your protections. You want to learn how to banish and protect. And this is good for that. Banishing and protect. Because it's always easy to call the police. But it's not easy to get them to go once you call them. So. It's good to help you repair relationships between people. So if you need to repair a relationship with a parent, a child. If it could be salvage. A brother or sister or husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, a mistress. So <laughs> it's good for that. No judging here. No judging. Oh, so it's if you feel apprehensive about anything or a situation that you're going to be going into. May I suggest carrying one of these or, or making a gree, gree bag and putting one of these into the gree, gree bag and carrying it with you. So it does need to be cleansed because it is like an aura sponge. It, it, it does clean things. So even though it, it cleans out the energy, it does need to be cared for. So even with, uh, you know what this is good for? Some people have problems with it because they can't visualize as guided meditations. So maybe if you're having problems with the visualization or guided meditations, maybe have like one or two of these, like one in each hand and then do it. 
or just put it right next to you. I mean, if you can only afford one, then have one. As you see, I gave some away. I used to have a little bit more, but I've given some away. For free, I know, <laughs> as gifts. But, uh... It's good for that, to really help you to be able to feel things, to see things, to sense and smell things. Oh, does it really open you up to that? But again, it keeps you, it, it, it's also a grounding stone as well as to help you like go up into the stars. So it's good for that. And honestly, I believe it's beyond the planet Jupiter. So if someone said, oh, it's Jupiter. I, I'm just going to tell you that because someone was speaking about that but i i just i see it's like the whole solar system and beyond our solar system the whole milky way is and the night sky great if you're doing star magic or planetary magic so if you're if you're if you're into planetary magic this would be great for you So what else do I want to talk about this stone? It will help you with manifestation to help you bring things into your life or get things out of your life, depending what you want. And is there anything else I would like to talk about this stone? Anything else I can remember? So, oh, it's good for stabilize, to, for you to stabilize yourself. So, if you feel your head's in the clouds, it can also stabilize you. It's, uh, what else do I want to talk about? I think I talked a lot about this. I don't think there's a lot more to talk about this. Other than, let me just sum this up, I guess. So, if you do any type of energy work, this is good for you. And especially if you're a newbie into into magic and working with this because, you know, like I say, you're stirring the light up and you will be noticed by different entities. And it's good to have a galaxy around you and in your home. Also good if you're having nightmares you can sleep with it under your pillow or hold it in your hand. And this can, like I said, it's good for that. And it's also good for a dream recall. So right when you wake up and you can't remember, you can call upon this. And also good for loose, to start working on lucid dreaming. It's, it has it ever been faked? And I'm just thinking about what question that would be asked. I don't know of any fake galaxite yet. I know certain stones and certain crystals have been faked and uh, people have been ripped off. So I think it's pretty safe to buy from Etsy. I've I, I've never personally I've never bought anything from Wish, so if they sell it on Wish, I guess it's safe to buy it from. Other things, 
that it's good for peace spells to bring peace so if you're chanting om shanti which means om peace that's good for to bring peace into your life but also it can bring change but it also bring in change that's for your betterment so if you're going through a, a, a tumultuous experience of a, a change that maybe you have to move or uh, changing of jobs or careers, this is a good stone to have with you. Other stones, also moonstone, it will work wonderful with a beautiful moonstone, a white moonstone. Oh. It will work good with that. And also black moonstone. And opal. Black opal. Very expensive. But uh, also opal. So certain. Uh, beware of opal light. Okay. Opal light is fake. Don't buy this sea opal shit. Oh, this is a sea opal. It's very rare. You better buy it. I'm selling this piece for only 10 bucks for something this size. What all opalite is, is glass. It's like colored glass if it has any real opal in it or opal powder. But it's basically glass. It looks beautiful, but it ain't worth the shit that's being sold in some crystal stores. Opal is real. Opalite is fake. Sea opal is shit. It's opal light. It's fake. I don't care. If someone tells you it's an ultra rare opal light with greatest dragon energy you've ever seen. It's glass. Okay? It's man made glass. It's not like. It's not like natural glass, like volcanic glass, like obsidian. It's man made shit. That they're selling to you at a high price. And it may, if it works for you, hey. You know, who am I to say? But I'm just letting you know. Don't spend a lot of money on that. But as for, you know, it, it, it will work with, uh, well, with those stones I'm saying. And I have used this in conjunction with in, in, in combination with Master Shamanite and uh, what was that? New Numite. And it works well. It's also a stone of beauty. So if you want to do beauty spells, that is a good one. And two to use that. So what else do I want to say about this? <sighs> it's a... Uh... I don't know if it's if I don't think the minds are mined out yet. And maybe they will be eventually. So I do know they're not found all over. They're not, you know. So, and I do know they were discovered in 1995, so they're a relatively new discovered stone. So, if you're having, like, negative effects from astrological planets, so if, let's say if you're having a negative effect from Jupiter or Saturn, you can use spells to help bring more positive and help to have positive, you know, something to ameliorate it, ameliorate it, so that you can have, like, better luck or 
a better time. So if you're going through your, say, your second Saturn or your third Saturn, Saturn's come and say, hey, motherfucker, you know, uh, it can help uh, deflect some of those sinister energies. So you can use uh, mantras or spells for that. Or if you're having, like, some people really get affected by Mercury retrograde, you there are ways to help you deal with that. You don't have to be at the mercy of all this. And and remember, uh, uh, when you do your astrology, it doesn't, it, it, it impels, it doesn't just compel you. I mean, you know, I'm a Libra. I know I'm a Libra myself, so I have problems making decisions. But there are times I can make decisions on the fly. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm an air sign. <laughs> so, also, with psychic powers, this will help you with it and have a better understanding of it, too. So, also, if communicating with spirits, remember, sometimes they could be pretending to be something they're not so this will help protect you and also to really get your intuition to go and to see if these spirits are full of shit or not because some of them just want to earn your trust and some of them are not who they say they are or they're pretending to be something and yeah So anyways, I want to thank you for what taking the time out of your busy life to watch my video. <laughs> and if you like it, please give me a like and subscribe. Share this with your friends and family and group. And if you like my video, uh, what was it? please consider donating to Make-A-Wish Foundation or to St. Jude's Hospital. If you don't have, you know, because I don't have a Patreon account, so, you know, just pass some good along or just, you know, just be kind to an animal you see today. If you see an animal in, in, in you know, being, wanting to be adopted, maybe you can help further it by taking a picture of it and putting it on your Facebook. Hey, guys, look at this pretty kitten I saw or this pretty puppy and be nice to it. Be nice to him, to the little, to the little baby, you know. So anyways, thank you for watching, and as always, blessed be.